In today's video, Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rayanne. I love sharing everything, home decor, interior design, tips, tricks, room makeovers, and I even throw in an occasional cleaning and organization video. I am so glad you're here today. I am gonna share all the decor tips in this video. So make sure you like and subscribe and hit all notifications on so you don't miss anything. Today is the big reveal of my front entryway. I can't believe it, but this took three months to finish. I cannot believe it took that long when I went back and looked at the date that we started. And I think the problem has been in our new house, I wanna do every room all at once. And I'm pretty sure we have like five projects going on right now and we just finished two of them, including this front entryway. I am so excited to share that with you today. I am not sure what my design style is in this house, but I do know it is a mix of Studio McGee. I love their stuff from Target. It's so affordable. It's easy to just go and grab things. I also love Brooke from Instagram. Her Instagram is nesting with grace. Her house is eclectic. I don't know, I just love it. She adds color everywhere. So what I'm trying to do in this house is my bigger pieces of furniture to be a little bit more neutral and maybe a little bit of design on them like this. And then add in pops of color with decor maybe even paint on the walls like I did in this front entryway and I am loving all the trim molding board and batten vertical shiplap I plan on adding those moldings all over my home different in every room and I can't wait to get started so let's get to this video and I am going to share all the decor tips that I possibly can with you today welcome to my front entryway and we are going to start this project right now I have some tape right here where I think I want the board and batten to go. I might paint the doors. We'll see. And I will need to figure out a light fixture for both of those spots. On the other side here, you can see I have been painting my front living room. Are you ready to see the paint color that I picked out? It's a little crazy. This is the color Cocoon by Sherwin-Williams. I usually get Sherwin-Williams paint. I love the emerald line. It just goes on so smoothly. The coverage is pretty good, although I will say whatever paint I'm using, I usually do three coats because I do not want to see any of the other colors behind it. I also get the little cards of paint samples and sometimes I'll actually get a paint sample to make sure the color looks good. We are working on getting measurements for that. I have to be completely honest, it looks like diarrhea. <laughs> it's just one coat, it will get better, but it looks very interesting right now. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if I could paint this fast in real life? That would be such a time saver. I do love painting. I like painting walls and doors, everything, because it can really make such a huge difference in the way a room looks and even feels. I mean, it can just create a completely different atmosphere and I absolutely love that. Plus, paint is a lot cheaper than going out and buying new furniture. Yes. Oh my word. Why? 
Yes, I spilled that green paint in my living room and then a few days later I spilled white paint in the living room too. So if you can stick with me, I will show you the new flooring that we got. I love it. It is beautiful and honestly this red flooring out here was completely throwing me off. So we are working on the board and batten and I am going to do a full tutorial for you coming up soon. So be on the lookout for that. That way you can really get a full picture of what it took to make over this room. All right, last night I was completely worried because it kind of looked like diarrhea, <laughs> but the second coat is going on so much better. It's definitely going to need three coats, but what a difference. The lower half is going to be this dark green color. We still need to do some trim pieces in here. My plans have changed so much in this room and the reason why I am painting the top white is because I was going to do a special decal up here that I got off of Etsy, but I ended up changing my mind and went with wallpaper instead. So really, I didn't need to paint this up here, but I guess I'm grateful because since it took three months to finish, the top of this looked a little bit better than just leaving it how it was. Working on this front area today, I am finishing up painting over here. As you can see, I have some tape up and we are starting to nail these in. And we already have some big trim pieces up here. This one is done. And I had two lights come. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the light for the front entry. <gasps> I cannot wait. It's going to be so good. All right, we're working on the front entryway today, and we got a new nailer, so who's going to be the first one to test it out? You are. These are my safety goggles. <laughs> Go Think I can see? Right, right there. there, yep. Press it to the other way, because right now it's locked. Now it's unlocked. I'm just double checking. Did that work? It looked like it worked. That's right. kind of another. powerful. It's kind oh. of scary. <laughs> okay. All right, my husband finished this late last night. It looks amazing. What a difference some trim can make. We still need to change out the lights, but I wanted to show you what I'm doing. So I am filling in these nail marks. This is what it looks like filled in. And then lastly, I will take some caulk and put it down here and up on top. Another day and more painting. I'm gonna give you a little tip. If you are painting like a few days in a row, take your paintbrush, put a plastic baggie or saran wrap over it and put it in your fridge. That paintbrush will be as good as new the next day or two days or three days later. And that way you don't have to clean it every single time. I have one coat of cutting in done. The next step will be to use the roller. I think I will keep that white because it just kind of seems like it's part of the stairs and it, then it looks like a nice trim piece. So I think that's okay. So we'll see how I feel about that. I do need to paint this door. I absolutely love this i think it looks amazing i will paint the trim later once we either reinstall that or get new trim the one thing i didn't think about was that these are white i think you can paint them and it's just it's not gonna look good if that white is there against the green so i may try to paint those today i need to do a few touch-ups in places and the next step will be to put down the rug this is the flooring that we chose and i think that will look amazing in here 
once we have it all laid down. It'll really lighten it up. Right now it does look a little dark with the dark paint and the dark floor, but that will help lighten it up. I tried this rug out for a few months, didn't love it, so we're gonna switch it out in just a minute. It is put stuff together tonight. We're working on a big storage cabinet for the front entryway, and then I'm going to work on a console table also for the front entryway. All right, time for a decor tip. Create a mood board. I do this in Canva because I pay for it. You can also just do it on Microsoft Word. If you would like me to create a video on how to do a mood board, why it's important, how to make your whole house flow together, let me know in the comments below. I would love to do that. Anything to help you out to decorate your house and make it look fantastic. I didn't take my own advice and I did not create a mood board when I started. I just had the vision in my head and I think that created some problems because this was the first entryway table that I tried and I just wasn't feeling it. This light fixture is amazing. It is a dupe of a very popular and more expensive Serena and Lily light. I love it. I got it on Overstock. I will link anything that I can in the description below for you. Let's take a look at this. I thought this would work and as you can see, like I have the rug and the basket and things just weren't flowing for me. I wasn't feeling it. So I guess it's a good thing that this project took a while because I could really decide what I wanted. This is my flooring compared to the table and I just wasn't loving the colors together. So console table number two. <laughs> This one was also a bust. I do love it. It's another Target one. So is the first one. I love my Target. It was just not right for the space. It wasn't quite tall enough or long enough. And I was also trying to decide if I wanted storage in my console table, like some drawers. I will show you the third one that I picked at the end and maybe I'm gonna go with it. I am just struggling, but let me tell you, the flooring in the video right now was completely throwing me off. It really makes a difference when you see what the new floors look like with the new vision in the entryway. It flows together so much better. And I'll be honest, the entryway table that I have in my mind and I have found online is like $1,200. And I am not gonna spend that on a console table. So I think my problem is that I have been trying to replace that table and I just can't find an alternative that I love as much. Another decor tip coming at you, if there is a beautiful print or picture that you love, I bought this gold pretty ornate frame off of Amazon. Of course, it's more of a plexiglass instead of real glass on the front. That's what helps keep the cost down. But then I just get my beautiful print and put it in this less expensive frame. This is from Lindsay Letters. I love her. I have always been a fan of abstract art and her art is just so gorgeous. I had a vision going in mind that this was going to be in the entryway. I am changing it up a little bit. As you can see here, I was playing around with things. I just wasn't feeling it. The floor and the rug were just not going together and I just think it kind of created some problems in my vision. So once we get this flooring changed, I think the vision comes together a lot better than what I had originally thought. Take a good look because these floors are about to change. I can't wait to show you. They are done. They were probably here for about nine hours. <laughs> between not even two full days. I can't believe it. It looks so different. 
This flooring is a luxury vinyl plank. We have been very pleased with that kind of flooring in a few of our houses. This one is from Home Depot. It was super affordable. It seems really durable. I love the color. So we did this front living room, the entryway, and the office. And the reason why we didn't continue with the whole first floor yet is because we're gonna change a little bit of the layout in the kitchen and remove part of a wall in the future. So we are kind of waiting for that project, hopefully next year, and then we will finish the entire first floor with this luxury vinyl plank. This rug is amazing. I love it. It is from Amazon and Rifle Paper Company. It is gorgeous. I love the print. I love that it's subtle and more neutral with that green gray paint. It just looks really nice together. It is a thin pile, which is nice by the front door. All right, here is the wallpaper that I picked. This is a black and kind of a gray white. It is called a watercolor print, and I love that it's kind of all blurred together a little bit. I love abstract art, and this kind of reminds me of that. Here's another decor tip for you. Something to keep in mind is, let's say in six months, I get tired of that green color. Well, I could still keep the beautiful wallpaper because it's pretty neutral. And just picture that with the bottom painted a blush color or maybe a light blue gray or a taupe color. I really think that the wallpaper on top would go with so many colors and I could switch out that color if I wanted to really make a difference in this entryway. This is peel and stick wallpaper. I was not about to tackle regular wallpaper because honestly, I don't wallpaper very often, but I got two rolls and as you can see, they weren't quite enough. So I did have to order another roll and wait for that to come so I could finish up the wallpaper, but it is looking great in here. I am loving it so far. Let's finish this up. I want to put wallpaper all over my house with trim. I am just obsessed with it right now. A room makeover takes a lot of work. And as you can see, I am touching up paint. This had a little green on it. I don't think this has ever been touched in 20 years. So it was time for a fresh coat of paint. The paint matches any other trim and rooms around my house. It is just pure white from Sherwin-Williams. We decided to do something a little different with this bottom trim, and I will include that in my DIY DIY board and batten video, but yes, I do use the nail gun. I think it's fun. It is pretty loud. <laughs> I have done an entire room of board and batten before, but that was like three years ago now. So I'm having to relearn how to do everything. Our house currently does not have a lot of storage. So whenever I am designing a space, I am trying to think of how I can get storage in that room. And this beautiful storage cabinet was one way to do that. This is from Studio McGee from Target. This is console table number three. I am not quite sure. I know how I want this space to look. I am gonna do a DIY project up above with some sconces. Honestly, I don't know. I love that there's storage right here. I was playing around with it. Let me know in the comments below if you like this one or if I should switch it out a fourth time. Let's take a look at the before of this space. This was from the listing picture, so there's not much in here. No one was really living here, but this is what it looked like before, and I think it looks completely different after. 
I put this cute Studio McGee from Target picture up above the closet. It just gave it an extra little pizzazz, I guess. Here is a close up of the wallpaper. It is so pretty and I love just mixing that with the fun green gray paint and the decor. So let's decorate right here. I wanted to use some pieces that I had and some new pieces. I'm sure I will change up this space often as I go shopping and get new pieces. I have had this picture for a while. It's another Lindsay Letters print and I turned it upside down. That's the awesome thing with abstract art. I turned it upside down so you could see more of the beautiful colors on top. This vintage print is actually from The Found Cottage, which if you follow Liz Marie Galvin on Instagram, she is amazing and her store is about 30 minutes away from me. I have already been there multiple times. The lamp right there is from Target. And as you can see, I am varying heights and textures. I just put a wooden box there for some warmth. The plant also brings in some warmth. I think I want to put a hanging plant there, so I will work on that. These stools are from Serena and Lily. I just have been eyeing them for so long. I went ahead and got them. They are also nice because my kids sometimes leave through that door and they can sit on those to put their shoes on. I wanted you to check out that the doorbell is completely covered by the picture. You can't see it at all. I love the combination of different colors, wood tones. I mean, there's black, there's the dipped stool the taupe rug, the more fun light fixture. I love how everything came together. I think it just flows nicely and it is a mix of really that Studio McGee and nesting with grace type of look that I was going for. Another thing that I had to really keep in mind is this entryway is a little dark and I knew that I needed to have a lamp here. So when picking out the black storage cabinet, I really had to make sure that I could have a flat top and be able to put a light on. I looked at some beautiful arched cabinets that I would love for that space, but a light wouldn't fit on top of an arch. So I had to nix those and do something else. I hope that you enjoyed this makeover. I had a lot of fun doing it. I love being a little adventurous with the colors and the wallpaper that I am doing. I already have my office slash dining room figured out and I bought a beautiful wallpaper for that room and we're gonna be starting that soon. I can't wait to share more videos with you. I hope you have a great day and I will see you back here soon.